It was a frightening morning for shoppers at one Albuquerque Walmart after a shoplifter fired off shots toward the store before taking off. One of our former colleagues was there. News 13's Jamie Seymour is here with that story. Jamie. Dean, police say shoplifters with weapons are becoming a common trend. Today's incident comes just one day after APD Chief Harold Medina made a plea to state lawmakers as the department tries to handle the city's crime problem. It started as a quiet morning at the grocery store, stocking up on essentials ahead of the winter storm, but quickly turned chaotic for everyone there, including former KRQE anchor Dick Niffing. And all of a sudden, bam, 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 bam. And I know enough that I knew it was gunshots right away. And instantly, some woman came running into the store screaming. She was petrified. Police say just before 9.30 Tuesday morning at the Walmart neighborhood market near San Mateo and I-40, employees attempted to take a woman suspected of shoplifting to the back office. Workers say she refused and left the store before getting into a car and shooting several rounds near the entrance where employees were standing. Niffing was in the checkout line when it all unfolded. You hear about the shootings, you hear about the violence, you hear about the endless shoplifting, and there it is, all rolled into one. Witnesses say customers were screaming and running for cover. That suspect is still on the run. While her identity hasn't been made public yet, detectives say they're investigating. She has been identified. Uh, we think it's linked to some other cases. I was told that they're working on the arrest warrant now, and they're already looking uh, for her to see if we could apprehend her. On Monday, APD's chief of police proposed to lawmakers new legislation that could reduce this type of crime, especially dangerous trends of shoplifters and car thieves armed with guns. I hope that the legislature yesterday sees that the exact things we spoke about actually played out in the streets of Albuquerque today, and we have to put an end to it. It's a sentiment Niffing agrees with, describing the current situation as unchecked violence. I love Albuquerque. I spent almost all my life in Albuquerque. This is not the Albuquerque I knew. Uh, we've always had crime, and sure, this is a tough town, but what's going on now is just chaos. During Chief Medina's discussion with lawmakers yesterday, he says one thing the department is doing differently is charging shoplifting suspects with robbery when they brandish a firearm, hoping this enables them to keep suspects behind bars on these tougher charges. Back to you. All right, Jamie, thank you. Now, there was a similar case in December when three suspects stole boxes of ammo from Sportsman Warehouse, Sportsman's Warehouse near I-25 and Renaissance. When confronted by employees, one of the suspects pointed a gun and fired shots in the air. Police are still looking for those suspects.